Hey everyone, it's Jen over at jenscrappypages.blogspot.com and today's project is this really pretty dragonfly card that I made using the Celebration uh, Bermuda, Bla Bermuda Bay Glimmer paper. That was kind of a tongue twister. Um, so when I set out to make these this morning, I wanted to make something really cool with this beautiful glimmer paper that uh, Stampin' Up! has just put out as a celebration item. And I wanted to show you these because they all kind of three go together. Um, I made one up in the Sweet Sugar Plum and one up in the Mint Macaroon um, using the coordinating inks, coordinating ribbons, and I, I just think they are so beautiful. Look at all that sparkle. I didn't even need to add any extra wink of Stella to this because of all the sparkle. So when I um, got done making those, I went to go look for my Bermuda Bay ink, but I didn't have any um, because I'm still collecting right now um, as a demonstrator. I don't have all of the inks yet, but I'm working on it. Um, and so I really wanted to make one of these cards using the Bermuda Bay, um, but I didn't want to just have, you know, a black sentiment just sticking out there. Um, and at first I had a black background, which was really beautiful, but it looked odd on the white of this. And then it came to me, I'll just put black behind his wings. And oh my gosh, isn't that just beautiful? Um, so let's get started and I will go over the supplies. Um, it really isn't that much actually. Um, so I'm going to set this little guy up here. Um, uh, first of all, I used the Bermuda Bay Thick Baker's Twine uh, Basic Black ink pad, the Hexagon Embossing Folder, and then the Dragonfly Dreams and Detailed Dragonfly uh, Bundle. Um, I, I just absolutely love this bundle. And I didn't at first. I, I It actually scared me when I first brought it home. I didn't play with it for like a month. But now that I've gotten it out, I'm just really having a good time with it. Okay, so I'll stop talking. Maybe I can talk while I'm working on the card. So for paper, you're going to need a four and a quarter by 11 Whisper White cardstock, and we're gonna score that at five and a half. A piece of three and three eighths by three and seven eighths. And then the Bermuda Bay Glimmer paper, we need a three and a half by four inch. And then you're gonna need um, approximately two and a half by three and a half for the dragonfly. And then a two and a half by three and a half basic black for the dragonfly uh, for his wings underneath. Um, so let's get the big shot out first and we'll get all the cutting and everything done. And then we can assemble the card because once we have all the cutting done, um, the card will take no time at all to put together. It's pretty dang simple. So let's cut the dragonfly out first and we're just gonna need the solid imaged one and then the detailed one. And as long as we have this out, let's go ahead and we're going to emboss. And remember, because this one is, this embossing folder is a little bit thicker than the rest, we just need to put one plate underneath of it. All right, I went ahead and cut this ahead of time because there is a lot of detail pieces that I need to get out. And then there's that, and here is the embossed one. So what I did is um, I just ran some glue in, just in this part here and then down his tail. Since I wanted the wings to be free floating. So we're just attaching him in the middle. And 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just the glitter part. I probably should have done that before I glued it on because now it's not sticking. But I just took my bone folder and kind of rolled up the wings a little bit to give him the dimension. And then I'm going to go ahead and set him aside so he dries. Bring this card back down into the picture. Uh, right there. Okay. Now for the embossed piece of paper, um, going on top of the glitter, um, I didn't feel like my regular adhesive was uh, really keeping it down because I did try. Um, so I thought, you know, instead of wasting a ton of adhesive, um, I was basically covering the entire back of it and it still wasn't sticking nicely. I went ahead and just used my um, glue dots and now I think I'll stick one here in the middle too. There. And then that's just going to go here. And either side of this embossing works really nice. Um, it's just such a pretty texture. So then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to um, just stick some dimensional elements on the back. I'm still waiting for my order to come in. So, and these, you know, I don't care for these as much as the Stampin' Dimensionals. They're a little bit taller. Um, and so I, I don't know. I don't know if I like it as much. So let's forgot to fold my paper. So we're just going to fold this or score it at five and a half like we always do. And then I, I like to open it back up so I have a flat surface to attach uh, my pieces to. Probably counterproductive to score it and then um, I'm going to bring this down here a little bit so I can see it. But uh, yeah, maybe counterproductive to score it and then flatten it back out again, but it just, I like the flat surface that it gives me. So we're just going to stick this right here. And, um, what I did forget to do, if I can take this back up. See, I thought this was going to be a nice short video, but I got so excited to put it together. I completely forgot to put our Bermuda Bay twine on. So let's do that quick. And, um, again, I just used my little glue dots to attach it to the back. And you're going to run this, I don't know, maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch uh, from the bottom. So maybe like so. And then I wrapped it around twice. some more and stick it on this end. So that should be about right. And now we can go ahead and stick this back on. And I like to, um, I like to have my piece that I'm tying my bow on secured to the uh, paper that I'm working on. Um, because then, you know, it doesn't lift up and move all over the place when I'm trying to tie my bow. I have a hard enough tying a good bow anyways. So I like to have um, something secured down. So we're just going to take this. Make a simple little bow. Kind of maneuver it around so my... Okay, I think that looks about right. Then I'm going to kind of let it hang a little bit. I got this glitter is getting all over the place. So while we have this here, let's go ahead and we'll just stamp our sentiment on it. 
And I'm just going to do that in the basic black. And it's going to go just right down there. Eh, it's not perfect, but you know what? It'll work. And all this glitter on here. Okay, so then this isn't going as smoothly as I thought it would in my head. Do you guys ever have that? Uh, I thought I would just go super fast and be able to get this done and just not work in the way I thought it would. Maybe if I stopped talking, but then that'd be kind of boring watching a video and not, you know, just watching me work and not listening to me gal away. I don't know. Do you want more talking or less talking? I hate that awkward silence, you know, like when I'm taping something and all you see is me taping it and nothing else. Or maybe that's good, I don't know. I'm gonna stop babbling now. <laughs> I'm gonna put this thing on here because we're literally two seconds away from being done. And that's it, just throw it on there. And um, while I was talking, I went ahead and just put, you know, some dimensionals just to pop him up a little bit off of the thing. And there it is. With all the glitter, I kind of been, you know, shaking it a little bit. Oh, I hope my head didn't get in the way. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. That's the card. I hope you enjoyed the project today. Um, as always, you can go over to my blog, jenscrappypages.blogspot.com, and I will have uh, written and, um, well, not written, not handwritten, but I will have printable and downloadable uh, dimensions and instructions on how to create this card just in case you forget or don't want to go back to the video. So thanks again, and I will catch you later. Bye.